Hey guys, so today I am sharing with you all what I am packing for our beach trip coming up and it's so funny because I feel like we've taken a lot of road trips lately and every time I'm like, I'm going to show them what I'm packing and you know, life happens and you're trying to get your whole family like packed for this trip and packing Olivia's stuff, it's totally different traveling now with a kid. It's like you're moving, you know. Um, I've always considered myself a light packer, but you feel me. So I wanted to share with you guys what I like to pack. Now of course, like I said, did I say this is going to be a road trip. So. Um, we're going back to the condo for a week and it's just funny because like when we go there It's like you're staying in a home, you know, it's not like a quick Hotel trip or like, you know, if you fly somewhere for the weekend or go somewhere to even like a nice resort where they're gonna have like a lot of Your toiletries provided and you can just use whatever shampoo they have they have a hair dryer, you know, so Usually all I do is just bring you know a few skincare things inside the same bag that my makeup's in and try to keep it light but when you're taking a road trip and you're going somewhere like that you can kind of you know I, I feel like I can pack a little more and be a little more comfortable for the week and the bag that I really love to carry is uh, my Neverfull um, this is the Neverfull GM you guys have seen this so much over the years but even if I am it I put everything in there like from my hair dryer I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you everything that's in there like and you know when people pack usually they have like you know, like there's like separate luggage pieces that are toiletry bags. So I feel kind of like that's what I use that for, but it also catches other things too. I put like chargers in there and I'll even put like my laptop in, my, in the sleeve in there. It's This is just like a carry everything bag. And when you fly, this is perfect because you can use this like as your handbag and then still carry a separate piece of luggage like carry on. But you can put like another small handbag down in here. Like if you wanted to carry two, like a wallet on a chain or something. And then you can have like your makeup in here you can have like books and your computer and you know anything that you need snacks so this is just such a perfect travel bag so when you're taking a road trip you don't have to pack quite as light which can get me into trouble sometimes but like I said I want to be comfortable basically whatever fits in here I'm just gonna bring so like I said, the bag is huge, and then inside of it I have a Samorga bag organizer. Um, this bag I don't really carry a whole lot anymore, like as an actual handbag, because I've been carrying like a backpack and different things like that, but this would be really great to carry now, like with Olivia's stuff, but sometimes a backpack, like I've kind of said before, is a lot easier. So I'm going to carry a backpack to the trip, like that Louis Vuitton one that I really like, and that'll be really handy, but it's nice to know that I've got this one too, but what I love is that when I get there, I can literally just sit this on the counter. You don't have to worry about it getting messed up or anything. This thing is like indestructible. Um, and then just kind of go for it. You know, you don't have to like unpack everything. I just, I like to make it simple. Um, this isn't like a how to pack video. This is just kind of sharing what I'm packing. Uh, so I've got my makeup bag, which is usually the one that I was carrying. I don't carry a ton of makeup to the beach. Um, I pared it down pretty good. I've got a little pouch with my skincare in it, and I'm, I'm going to go through all of it. Uh, like I said, I, I am bringing my hair dryer because, like, you know, it's not like a hotel that has one for you. So um, I've got that. And then with, like, jewelry, I'm probably just going to wear whatever I wear there because just it's just easy. Like, going to the beach, it's not like you're going to, like, somewhere for an event where you have to have, like, outfits and all this stuff. Like, I mean, you have outfits, but you don't need, like, different accessories and all these fancy shoes and all these different things. I just, I love packing for the beach because it's just so simple. So, I feel like I tried to pack light with my makeup. Maybe I didn't. It feels and then, like, all the little stuff, like hair stuff, um, like, extra little face stuff, I put in this little bag. It's a little, like, Herschel bag and it has like I mean this thing is like a Mary Poppins bag and I, I have to put my toothbrush my toothpaste in here my floss stuff but I didn't pack that because I thought I'm gonna probably use I'm gonna, first, I'm gonna use that before we go some of this stuff though I am gonna use so I guess I could have you know I'm gonna use some of this other stuff too so um, I have my Murad exfoliating cleanser my shampoo and conditioner this is the Oribe gold lust and you know it's not super great I wouldn't say like run out and buy that I mean, it's okay. I'm just as happy with, like, something from the drugstore. The Donna Karen Cosmo Mist Deodorant. I did pack a small hairspray. I know I do wish I had some of this other stuff in travel sizes, and I would bring it if I did. The Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 501 Styling Treatment, which I put in, like, when my hair is... I use that when my hair is damp, and it's kind of like a... It's like conditioning, volumizing, all that good stuff. This is the dry shampoo that I've been using lately, which is the Aussie 7... Aussie? 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 7 in 1 Dry Shampoo. It's a good dry shampoo. I've got my um, my razor refill. I like to use this uh, these Venus. This is the Spa Breeze, but I like the one that says Olay. And then I've got the little 
razor. Like I said, I'm gonna also add in my, like, you know, obviously my toothpaste and my toothbrush and stuff like that. So I am gonna have to take out some of the stuff anyways to use before we go. Um, but how nice is that? And it's got room to spare. And so I will zip that up. Did I talk about makeup removers? I don't think I did. Um, I am gonna bring these, the Tarte Little Fresh Eyes Wipes. I really love these like for eye makeup, but I don't wanna bring like my cleansing oil or anything, like my Basha or anything like that, uh, because that's what I've been using for my makeup remover lately, and I just, I don't like to pack that. I don't want to leak out. For some reason, I feel like that, I don't worry about anything else, but the oils just kinda make me a little nervous, and it's kind of hard to pack that Basha one, unless if you save the little thing that goes around the top. But if I am at the store, which I will probably be before we go, um, I'll just grab a, just a little cheap thing of wipes and then I'll replace. If I don't, I'll just use these and then just, um, I'll use this on my eyes and then just kind of wash my face good. The other thing that I need, I, I, I will grab another thing of wipes, I think too. Just like one that I can replace those with that will just be good for everything because I need to get some Dove soap because I don't really feel like I need to bring body wash or anything. If I've got the Dove soap, I can like use that for everything. It's really like, um, it lathers really well. I just I just love plain old Dove soap. You can use it on your face and about everything. It's like there's a lot of things in this bag. Um, okay, so no surprise, my Arborium BB cream is what I'm gonna use like for my foundation and stuff. It's so light, it's just easy. Um, I did carry my Lancome Miracle CC cushion. This is the green one. Um, the Marc Jacobs Spotlight Glow highlighter stick so that I don't have to carry like a bunch of powders and that I don't have to carry brushes. This is just so, so easy. And I do have this little purple Tarte sponge, which I use like for my under eye concealer, but I can also use it to blend out that. So it's kind of like a twofer. This I have to bring because I love it, even though it's a little bigger. It's the um, Chanel Bronze Universal, but it just looks so natural and I love it. And I use the F23 brush with that by Sigma. And I kind of thought, well, maybe I could just bring like a stick blush. Should I just do that? I think I am. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna carry like a blush and a brush. Um, well, I actually could carry this. Yeah, I'll carry this tiny little dandelion one. I have this baby one with a brush in it. So that, that works. But then, hmm, then I should, yeah. I am gonna carry this too, because I love it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Moon Beach uh, little stick blush. This is a perfume, I'll show you that in a second. I have a few little concealers. This is like my under eye concealer. It's my MAC Radiant Rose. And then um, this is the All Make Clear Complexion. Like, you know, if you had a blemish or something. Uh, but usually I don't really need concealer with that particular um, BB cream. I'm not gonna bring any eyeshadow brushes or anything, um, and I probably won't even wear eyeshadow. I just like to wear like liner and lashes mostly, or liner mascara, um, but I love this top shelf by, or, or by um, Bare Minerals. That's what I'm wearing today, and I'm just gonna use the little applicator that comes with it. I'm just not gonna get fancy at all. My little Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Pencil. Um, this, oh, I did pack this. It's a little Ico waterproof shadow liner, and it's in the shade Topaz, and it's that really pretty, like, um, champagne -y color, so you can just put that on your lid and go, um, or you can put the Bare Mineral stuff over it. I'm gonna bring this liner. I really like it. It's the, um, Tardis Double Take Liner, so it has a, um, a pencil side and a pen side, like a liquid side. I'm kind of running out of all my other ones, <laughs> so I'm kind of using up what I got. And then a few more eye things. Um, the MAC Brow Set. And then I, I thought about not bringing this, but I really love this. It's the 3D Brow Tones by Benefit, and it's like that tinted gel. I use this in my brow video, that's what I'm using. Really on that brow, but I, I kind of put it in both to even them out. They probably look totally different because I use different products for both of them in that video. I filmed it before this, but, um, but I really have been enjoying that. So. That might be easy, you know, instead of, but the pencil's easy too, I don't know, I'll just have both. Um, the Trish McAvoy High Volume Mascara, I don't worry about like waterproof or anything because if I know I'm gonna be swimming, I'm not gonna wear mascara anyways. But this is good because if you sweat or if you do get splashed or anything, it's not a mascara that runs, it's one of those that you have to pull. Um, it's like a tubing mascara, so those are great, great, great for summer. And then this is the only, a uh, lip liner I'm gonna bring. It's the Lancome Natural Mauve, which is what I'm wearing today. And the uh, Tarte, no, the Too Faced uh, Natural Matte, what is this called? The Too Faced Melted Matte in Child Star, if I do want to wear, you know, a liquid lipstick. But I think, where is my YSL 
gloss. Oh, it's in the bag. Um, I'll probably wear this most of the time, and it's just the Nude Carrot. It's what I've been wearing a lot lately. It's an old favorite that I kind of rediscovered. And then, of course, my lip balm, the Sarah Hap. So that is all of the makeup that I'm bringing. Which, I don't really think it's that bad. I mean, it's like this bag is barely half full. And I could probably put my skin stuff in here, too. I'll probably put, like, my deodorant in here and my... I'll put my toothbrush and stuff in here probably, too. And then um, I don't really have any powders or anything that I've been using lately, but this Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder is so good. I keep it in my... I have a little Laura Mercy puff in it because I just love these. Um, I keep it in my purse, and it's just, like, the perfect touch-up. It doesn't add any, like, grossness to your face. But it makes you look like you've used like one of those pore smoothing primers. And you know they make those that you touch up with that's like in the balm, like YSL has one. Um, those just make me feel so dirty and like, I don't know, I just feel like those are so heavy. And then this is the perfume that I'm going to bring, which is great because I don't have to bring like a big bottle. It's the Jill Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. It smells so good, that's what I'm wearing today, but it's, it's just the perfect like soft beachy scent. It is such a good everyday scent. And then I don't know what I'm going to do on my nails, but um, I need to repaint them because I'm like missing a color. But I cannot believe how healthy my nails have been lately. And I haven't really been doing anything different. I don't know what it is. Um, they're just in a real good place. So um, I'll probably paint them with, I have like this metallic color that I think I might use, like a silvery color. And then I love this. It doesn't go with the, like, it's a part of like a two-step thing. It's the C&D Vinyl Lux weekly topped top coat. This is such a good top coat. So I'll bring this with me. That's that. And I don't know, like I have been loving these Lancome Juicy Shakers. And these are the colors that I really like. I really love the piece of cake too. Um, I might bring one more of these. I might bring the pink one because that's like super beachy, right? And then this one, the lemon one is really sparkly. I don't know. I'll bring this one. I have the blue one too. These are fun. Like, it's just kind of like a clear, glossy, like, very minty. They all smell different, which is really cool. So I'll bring that pink one, which, what color was that? It's, um, the Boomerang. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, that bag holds so much sunscreen. So this is my bag with my skincare items. And my face wash is huge, so it doesn't fit in there, so I'm just going to, like, put that in the other thing. But it's the um, Murad... Uh, AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser and then inside of here which this is just a little clear Jane Airedale bag that I really like I have another lip balm it's that Lancome Precious Cells which I probably don't need because I've got the other oh my gosh I've been loving this stuff the um, the Colleen Rothschild Mandelic, Mandelic Acid Radiance Serum I have been using this instead of my Murad Advanced Acne and Wrinkle so Solution because I feel like I just go through that stuff way too fast and I feel like it does I feel like it's doing good stuff, but I just sometimes feel like is it I don't know am I just used to it? So this is really cool because it kind of like it takes care of what I need which is like hyperpigmentation clogged pores things like that so but it's very gentle this is the um sunscreen that I use and it's the Shiseido Urban Environment Oil Free SPF 42 for your face and it's so thin it just sinks right in so it's not one of those like sunscreens that you feel like you're gonna wipe off like sunscreens are so, I mean, I'm sorry they're so gross they feel so sticky and nasty and that one just does not so it's so good you feel like you can actually put your makeup on over it um and then yeah at night I use um the Luna the oil and then sometimes I'll put this over it sometimes I'll use this like as a mask it's just kind of whatever in the daytime. I don't know, it's the good jeans. And I love that. I always feel like that's doing something because it tingles and I always feel like my skin looks really good afterwards. Um, this is the moisturizer that I really love. I can't get away from it. Like, it's just hard to use other stuff because it's so good. It's the Sunday Riley Tidal and it's um, the really pretty blue moisturizer. It smells so good. I love the way it smells. Um, the Pericone, I've been using the Brightening Eye Cream, and I use my Dior Eye Cream, but I kind of go back and forth, but I only wanted to bring one, and I thought this one might travel a little better. The Tarte Lip Facial, it's a little lip exfoliator, which I'm really into, and then of course I have like just some little Q-tips and stuff, you know, and I will be using this, like I said, we're not leaving like tomorrow or anything, so, you know, I definitely want to, I'm going to have to use this stuff uh, before I leave, so, I wish this was just a hair bigger so I could fit this, or that I had a... Maybe I could put this in like a smaller thing. That's, that's what I'll do. Okay, so um, in the bag, I have my, um, you can see, maybe you can't see. This thing holds so much. 
I've got my um, makeup. I'll kind of sit this upright because I don't want any of this stuff to leak, which I never really had anything leak. I'll go ahead and um, put my hair dryer in. I'm not kidding, I love this hair dryer. It's the dry bar one. It's just, I remember when I got it, I was comparing it like to the GHD and like more expensive hair dryers, which I had never really had like super nice hair dryers before. And this one is just as strong, like it works just as well, but it's um, it is lighter too. And it's more, is it more inexpensive? I believe it was, that was why I really liked it. So I'll put that in, you know. It's, everything's in there. Um, and I can even like put more stuff on the side. I'll show you too what I carry in our um, beach bag. This is our, this is our beach bag. And we kind of keep it simple. I mean, we don't like just live at the beach all day. Like we don't really go down there all day. If we do, we have like a tent and we're like, you know, for shade and like a nice place to get. Oh, like not a tent, but you know, like a canopy or, um, but I really love this. I used this last time. It's the uh, Science Sun Forgettable Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Loose Mineral Sunscreen. I like to have this and just kind of, I don't know, it's just nice like, dust on throughout the day while you're there and then this little um lip balm that is so that's like makeup-y stuff but um this is olivia's sunscreen it's the avino baby which she did just fine with that last time i also have this little copper tone water babies stick but it was kind of super greasy and i felt like it kind of got into her eyes and i wasn't into that um we also got this spray when we were out one time like panama jack kids Spray and then wow the copper tone water baby spray. We have a lot of sunscreen for our child. Although mostly we just we just use this. This is my favorite. I'm the Amino. So um, for myself, I have this Kula Fresh uh, Cucumber Sunscreen Spray. This is what Brad uses, the Copper Tone Sport. But when you go to the beach, I feel like you just have to have a lot of things. You gotta have your beach bag. You gotta like you know obviously if you're staying for a while, you have to carry all your beauty stuff. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed that little packing video and you saw the things that I am bringing with me to the beach. So thank you guys for watching as always. I will link to some of my favorite things below if you're looking for anything in particular. And um, I, anything that I'm wearing that I didn't mention um, in the video will also be linked as well. So thank you guys as always for watching. Love you so much. I just appreciate the time that you guys spend here with me as always. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye guys.